it's Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV. Today's tip is don't take it personal. Things that happen behind the scenes could be much, much larger than you actually know what's really going on. What happened to me in this situation several years ago, I was at a final vendor meeting. We were about 20 days out from the wedding. I had an amazing experience with this bride and this mother throughout the whole process. The bride was an only child. Her and her mom had a great relationship. They were best friends. They told each other everything. Again, we just had a blast and never ever had an issue or a, a negative meeting. So at the final vendor meeting, we started talking about design and the lighting vendor came in and starts talking about the up lights and the pin spots and the washes and the gobos. And some of this language is very foreign to many of my clients. So I have pictures prepared in a folder as well as the lighting vendor does to show them what we're talking about just to make sure that we're all still on the same page. And so the mother had asked, how do you shine a gobo on the floor? And the lighting vendor said, oh, that's easy. We use a stand and we put this lamp on it and we slide the gobo lens in. It's super easy, you don't need to worry about that. We've got it covered. And she said, well, we have a lot of kids at the wedding and so this stand that you're talking about, it, I don't want any of the kids to knock it over. And he said, oh, don't worry about that. We use sandbags to put over the bottom of the stand so that it doesn't fall over, so it's safe. And the mother flipped out. She broke down, started crying her eyes out. She's like, sandbags? I'm paying X amount of dollars for my daughter's wedding at a beautiful venue in town and you're using sandbags? I mean, she just completely flipped out and I'm quickly Googling a picture of an actual sandbag so she understood that it was nice and it, it wasn't an eyesore and it was in a black, nice cloth thing and it, it totally blended in that she didn't need to worry about it. And so just to diffuse the situation, I told the lighting vendor, I said, you know, I think we're good on lighting. Our photographer is gonna be here in a few minutes and we're gonna move on and talk about photography. But I told the mother of the bride, you don't need to worry about that. Don't be concerned. Take a minute, go to the bathroom and pull yourself together. So as the vendor was leaving, he was texting me saying, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I upset your client. And I was just completely caught off guard because this was so unlike this mother of the bride and something so small to set her off. And even though I was trying to educate her and, and quickly recover to get things back on positive track, it really wasn't working. So we went on with the day and, and things went well, but I could tell that she was very disturbed and very rattled. She wasn't herself. And so the bride and the mom had driven separately to where the wedding was gonna be, the reception. And after the meeting was over, the bride left and it was me and the mom walking to our cars. And I looked at her, I hugged her and I said, I'm sorry for the miscommunication today, but I promise everything's gonna be beautiful. But are you okay? Is everything okay? And she just broke down and starts crying her eyes out. And she said, I found out yesterday I have breast cancer and I have to have a double mastectomy. I haven't told my daughter, I haven't told my family. I don't wanna tell anyone what, what's going on because I don't want to steal the, the light and for my daughter and I don't want anyone to know. Now knowing the relationship between the mother and the daughter, I'm like, ah, you gotta tell your daughter, you can't keep this from your family. And then she went into what if I don't have hair and, and all of these emotional things. And so I sat in the parking lot just listening to her concerns and her crying and, and got her to calm down. And, and then at the end of the conversation, she said, you're right. I really do need to discuss it with my family. And you know, I was like, you have a great, strong support system in your family and not many families have that these days. And you're really lucky. So take advantage of that and lean on your daughter. And in fact, I'm pretty sure she'd be a little angry with you if you didn't let her know what's going on. And I bet you anything she knows something's wrong because I definitely noticed it today. So when I got in the car, I texted the lighting vendor and I said, hey, it wasn't you. It wasn't about a pole or a sandbag. She found out some really bad news yesterday about cancer and she's devastated and she hasn't told her family. And so there's a lot going on in her head and her heart and it actually has nothing to do with you. It's just really what set her off emotionally. And he was like, oh my gosh, thank you so God. Thank you so much for telling me like, oh God, I was so worried. And he probably wouldn't have slept that night because he's such a nice guy. But again, you might not always get the story of what's going on, but just know that you might not realize that there's something 
bad or negative going on in the background. So again, going back to that, always stay positive no matter what's going on, no matter what the message is. You can't control everything, but you can stay positive for your clients. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, AngelaProfit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.